This is something that I could use. <laughs> Isn't this the whole reason we have the backpack? my camp, so I'm just going a little killer now. I'm going to go get new people. I'm going to beat them up. <laughs> I have weapons and food and probably water, but like, who needs water nowadays? You get it from the rain, and then you make a rain catcher, you catch the rain, and you go, ha, that's mine. And then, <laughs> it's not funny. And I'm going to do it with the campfire. I'm gonna cook stuff. I'm gonna cook you. I'm gonna cook humans. I'm gonna cook the animals. And after that, we're gonna go to uh, Washington because they have a uh, fort set up there. And then we're gonna go hunt some animals and then live high. No, 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 no. not being high. Like, high on the mountainside. You know what I mean? We might freeze our asses off, but that's okay, because then no one can... So then, like, yeah, like, what we're gonna do is then... <laughs> Which is preferably German Shepherds, because they're big and they can tackle. I mean, bite. And then, yeah. Now we beat them up. Hey, look, why third camp? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that signs is do not pass, but I'm passing anyway. I know this, because I am cool. Wait, it's not funny. <laughs> like, I only have like six bullets left or something. Um, uh oh. Just gotta clean out the muzzle. I got this. I hurt my fingers. Who are those people? They're gangsters. I knew it. They're coming for us. Where did she and Karen come back from the stupid supply room? Who's there? Who's there? Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? Kyle. The name's Kyle. The name's Mitch. Are you a bandit? No. Are you a bandit? No. I know you have friends somewhere. I do. They're on a supply run and one of them's at a different bunker. Sure they are. You expect me to believe that with what evidence? How do I know someone isn't gonna pop through that door? Because I think I'm a pretty trustworthy person. Well, I don't. Check the door then. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. I only have two hands, I can't open it. I... I'll, I'll, I'll figure. That doesn't work. It's... No, it's not back! <laughs> Yohan of you did that? Abraham Lincoln, he also got shot. How about I do this? What do you see? Hi, Bob. What do you need? I don't know. What do you need? Supplies, food, water. I mean, I got some. As long as you can offer me some help, killing some bandits. Deal. Pretty good deal. We should probably wait for Jake and Kieran to come back. When they're supply runs, they'll probably have more food and water. That's their names? Yep. And the other kid, Thomas, who's at a different camp right now. He's been out there for a while. I what happened? Did he just run away or something? I think or? he might left us for good. He might have found other people. He might left us for good? I don't know. I have a feeling me and I can be really good friends. I feel like... I don't feel like... I feel at... 
tomorrow. I, I don't know. Jason Spirit has been gone for uh, two days now. Thomas has been gone for th six months, maybe. I'm going to keep checking. Our radio stopped working, so we have to throw it out. Here. Thanks. Later. That was a nice catch. What was that? It was Definitely. just like, I threw it at your hand and it went like this. What? Okay. Well, you're doing barely anything to do here. We're pretty pointless. Yeah, but I mean, like... Yeah. And I, I can't trust you, correct? Yeah, you can. I mean, I'm giving you food, what do you mean? Sure. Well, it'll help you kill bandits. Are you... Have you, have you just come back from L.A.? Are you going to head to L.A. in the safe camp? No, nah, I'm thinking of Georgia. Like, George Washington? I mean, no, like... <laughs> you mean Washington? Yes, like Washington. Why did he say George Washington? So you're heading to Washington? Yeah, man, I'm heading to Washington because there's a fort up there. That apparently the military runs. I heard about that. Fort Henry? Yeah. Huh. Didn't that place get overrun? Nah, that place didn't get overrun. That place was like... Literally, the oh. main focus of the military. So there might have been plenty of that other fort. I don't know, there's plenty of forts nowadays. Yeah, uh, that was probably Fort Hendrick. That was, in, that was also in Washington. Now we have, like, mutant creatures, almost like zombies. Yeah, we got, like, almost like mutant ninja turtles, right? Uh, I haven't left in a while. We used to have the PlayStation 1 down here, but somebody came and stole it when we were sleeping. Oh, that asshole. Bandits. We played, we played Crash Bandicoot, Resident Evil. Ah. So that's what you guys were doing down here during all this? Yep. What, you were nerd? Play you, games? You have nothing better to do. Fair enough. We're running really low on food. That's why I didn't care when I lost the fire one. Yeah. Have a convection. Sad, you know. Yeah. They'll be gone I mean, for like, like two days. Hopefully they're okay. Yeah. They're heading to an unexplored zone. On a map. Unexplored zone on a map? Yeah. We haven't been there yet. Apparently they had like a lot of sites of like there's like a school there. So they're gonna go explore that and hopefully they're still safe. Ah. Can I see that map? Right there. Hung up on our wall. That's your map. Hung it up on our wall. Wait, where did they go? Uh High, the high school is it called? Um, uh, there's, it's the high school about five meter miles away from here. Is it the High Shell March? <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's how you pronounce it. They went there. Yeah. The one place where there's the biggest gang in the country. Pretty much. Did they know that? No. I didn't, wait. There is. Yeah, there is. But did you just come back from there? No. Where, they raided my, that, they raided where, my group. Where on there was your bunker? My bunker was like... My bunker was the school. It was? Yeah, we were in the school basement. And then they like surrounded us and raided. So they're walking to a death trap. Yeah, pretty much. So they're probably already dead. Well, I mean, no. There was one place how I skate. It was the... What's it called? The gutters. The gutters are really big. I don't know why. I don't know how. But they're really big. So you saved through the sewers? Yeah. Okay. So do you think maybe... Oh, crap. Just... That would probably be fine. <laughs> hope. All you can do is hope at this point. I mean, yeah. It is an apocalypse. What's still happening, you know? Yep. It's a nice wrench you got there. <laughs> yeah. Have a PlayStation One. We have these stupid like Legos. We don't even use them. We don't use Legos. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, who would make Lego movies with this? Like, that's just dumb. You know what I mean? That's just somebody actually made a Lego movie. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be funny. Especially about like Halo zombies. Ah, uh, that'd be so weird. Yeah, would you watch that to be like a Lego Halo zombie movie? 
No, but actual like zombie Halo I'd watch. Yeah, I don't want Halo's a big game. Halo was a good game, but like Halo zombies would be like Amazing. Yeah. Once is when this whole plot apocalypse make a good movie? When this whole what? Like apocalypse make a good movie? Yeah, it would. It's almost like it's being <laughs> filmed and watched. <laughs> almost. Almost, but not quite. I like looking at doors too. Okay, you get the. Oh. The board. Don't always stand on the left. Just aiming. How many bandits raided your camp? How many? Yeah. There was around like 50 to 60 of them. Christ. We were trying to get a car working, but the radiation levels are getting higher and higher. You guys got a car? Almost. We're missing one part. Once we get an engine working, we're going. Alright. That's why we're going to high school. We heard they might have some good car parts there. <laughs> Who would leave car parts at a high school? We heard on the radio that there would be, there's a lot of cars. Oh, there was like a car auction thing there? I don't know if it's a car auction, but it's just the, we're hearing on the radio from some guy that if you need car parts, they're at the high school. So we're, they were going there to find an engine, and once we had an engine, whoever was left, we would just go. We wouldn't we would wait for Thomas or anybody. Well, I mean, first of all, we gotta do is kill those freaking bandits. And no, 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 we would we, we, get a group together, man. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can bring back a radio. Maybe we can broadcast. Tell people. Yeah, I mean, I used to be. I used to be a mechanic back in my time. Really? Yeah. You can help us put that car together. We can broadcast the set, set. Come here. And we can get the bandits, and we can take out the bandits, and then the four of us just leaves. Leaves? We just leave. The four of us just leave. Yeah. Unless Thomas is there too, but he might be dead. Your friend might be joining them because they like reading. The whole country. They take groups of around ten, which means that they have like five to six groups, or like two. So, so their whole sixty people around. You said raided their raided high school. Yeah. No. Because they needed like a gigantic sanctuary. Why didn't they go to the church? I don't know. I mean, they are bandits who said they were smart. True. <laughs> Oh, I, oh, the leader's probably not this smart. The church would be more secure. No, nobody would think to go to church to look for bandits. Yeah, but then again, the school is made out of bricks, and there's more rooms which you can barricade. Sure, so you, if you need to fall back, that to means there are more rooms for creatures to hide and wait to pounce on you. That's why they secure it. How most of the bandits got killed by creatures. Fair enough, but these guys outnumber them by a lot. True. Well, most of them, but it's an easy take out for us. True. I mean, they may almost, like, most of them have, like, M16s. But the ones that don't, they have, like, daggers or knives. Yeah. We, we're very low ammo. We have barely any guns left. Thomas took most of us. When he went on that supply run. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, first what we gotta do is we gotta find Tom. I don't think so. And then once we find your friend Tom, we can go and raid it with a three-man team instead of a two-man team. A oh, four-man team. I'm... Including that guy, Jake, you Jake and said earlier. Yeah. Jake and Kieran. If they're not dead by now. Hopefully one of them make it out alive, at least. I hope both of them do. It's been about a year since we've all been, four of us, been bunked down here. Nobody else has joined us since. 
Ah. I mean, the one time we had a bandit come, he sold the PlayStation 1 and a lot of food and water. It's funny though, there's no sign of entry and only out. Right? Yeah. No, it was right before Thomas left. Speaking of, it was the night Thomas left. Tom might have been teamed up with them from the beginning. So he hasn't come back yet. Bingo! My God, Thomas is abandoned. What do you mean, oh my god, Thomas is a bandit? He's still half your stuff, and you're worried about him being a bandit? Apparently not see it. Well, if we get Jake and Kieran back, then we can have a four on, like, 70 people. That's why we need to get a radio, make a transition, help get people to come here. We don't need radios, we need walkie-talkies. We need to get people to come here, we need to raid the bandits. We need walkie-talkies, because once we get walkie-talkies, take them out one-by-one one style, sniper, silenced, anything. We're going to have to go a lot more. Yeah, them. or we could have, like, two people go in that are, uh, they have, like, melee stuff. And then, like, silent melee stuff or a crossbow or something. And then one is a sniper and one is a scout. Okay. Do you have a gas mask with you? No, I don't. You're going to need one then, aren't you? Survive this long without one. I mean. How? What do you mean, how? The radiation. There's no radiation. Yeah, there is. A nuclear bomb. That's radiation. <laughs> Trust me, if there was radiation, I'd know. What does that mean? It means that there's no radiation. How long were you outside for? Around a couple months. Is it a couple months since you've been to high school? No, what? been to high school. What are you talking about? Been to at your camp. No, I've been at my camp for like a year or so. But I've been going... They got raided been, a couple months ago. Yeah. No. They got raided, like... They got raided eight to nine months ago. Okay. And then I left because I was the only survivor there, I think, that might have left. So, wait a second. Your camp got raided right around the same time, same time Thomas left our eight or nine months, eight months ago. Because, I mean, he was working with them, so it would be easier if he took out a bunker on the way there to grab food and stuff and offer himself as a teammate. Maybe they were, they were planning to take out the high school for a while yet, but they needed to get close to a group of bunker. A group of bunker? <laughs> they needed to get close to a group in a bunker and steal their food, water, whatever entertainment they had. Well, they wanted something to not bore everyone, like, that were, like, still guards or whatever in the school. Yeah. They probably, like, boarded off, like, the west or eastern or north or south wing. So they could, like, stay there, and then they'd probably send, like, two groups out to go explore the rest of the school and make sure that nothing's there. Surprise a bandit haven't come right here yet. There's a bandit camp right down that way from us. We're down that way? Yeah. It's like a mile down, but I'm surprised they haven't come this way yet. Yeah, I already, like, took them out, so. How many were there? Around, like, 10, 20. Took them out by yourself? Or was there only, like, one there guarding you? Yeah, there was only one there guarding you. More going back to the area. Yeah, we've, we've been he scouting. was calling for his friends. We've been scouting it out for a while. One day we'll get it. What if instead we went to straight to the high school? What if we took out the bandit camps by one? So we won't need more people. Well, I wouldn't really take them out. I would more of enslave them. No. Just take them out. We, we want the bandits just to die. We want to kill off the bandits and leave. Wait, where? School? No, we take, we go to the bandit camps. And we take all the, like, the, there's like 10, pe 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 10 bandits at bandit camp at once. We take it all six of them around the country, and then we just go for Washington or L.A., wherever. Yeah, but if we take them out, then how are we going to have more people? We don't need if more people. If one of us dies, we're screwed along the way. Then none of us have to die. It's easier if we take them out one by one instead of going straight to the high school. We're killing all six of them.
Well, yeah. And then we might pick up some people as we go. Exactly. But we're not going to take other bandits with us and then slay them. That's just... Well, I wouldn't really, like... Uh, it's more of, like... You know how, like, in World Wars and stuff, how they, like, go from one side, change their mind, go to the other, and fight for that side? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they'd be doing. Because, I mean, they're already trained with guns and stuff. I would not trust a bandit. Well, yeah, but they're trained. But I would trust a bandit. Even so it's either you trust someone, but they don't know how to use anything, or they know how to use something, but you don't trust them 100%. Would you trust a bandit? Depends. If they said, oh, yeah, let me just switch sides. Oh, yeah. I mean, people do that all the time. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. Just like your friend Tom. He's probably always been a bandit. Well, I mean, if he was down here with you for a year, maybe when you were scouting out the school or whatever you guys were talking about, maybe he thought that that was an opportunity to get out of here and join one of the... Bandicoots. Yeah. Or he thought that there might be a chance of them being there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he thought he had a better survival with a bandit kid. Yeah. If we see him, I'm gonna try and convince him to come back to our side. Wouldn't think that that's the best idea. You think just kill him? Yeah. Because, I mean, if you bring him back, he might do the same thing again. He should True. take all your stuff and kill you next time. True. Gotta be glad we're not dead. Next time I see Jake, he's getting a tone. What happened to Tom? Yeah. I believe him, you know? Oh, look at that shotgun. Well, there goes our shotgun. I like I got some food. Oh, you gave me some. Did you just one of those water bottles? Yeah, sure, man. Mechanic, right? Yep. Could you? Do you know anywhere else where we could get good car parts? Hmm. Okay, if it's a car engine, that's all we need. Car engine? Yeah. I do know of this one house. What's he say? Yeah, they used to sell certain car parts. On the black market. On the black market. Because they were extremely powerful. Oh. Yeah. So you're saying you might be able to find arson engine. Yeah, not just a engine. A powerful engine. One of the most powerful engines in the world. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Let's Jake and Garrett come back. Okay, no. We can't wait for them. Five days we head out. Five days? Five days. Is that David here? Or if they're here, we'll head out with him. Fair enough. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, listen. I found this. It's a uh, radio, right? Yeah. Where did, first of all, do you know where we're going to be going? Do you know where this guy's house exactly is? First of all, well, where's the high school, right? It's right here? High school's right here. Okay, so then, what road could they have taken to get there? Could they have taken from here all the way down to there? No, the roads that they would have taken is... Starting from here. This is where they are, where? This is where we are. This is where we are. Yeah. The roads that they probably took would probably go like this. The long way? Yeah, the long way. Because the long way is... The less dangerous way. Okay, you're right. Short way, that's a highway. True. They wouldn't want to go on that. Yeah. Now, which way would they have taken back? Let's say they go through the sewers, which is the red lines. Which way would they have taken back? They would have taken it. Would they have taken it? Would, would they have gone over here? Would they have taken it through here, through the bandit camp, under the bandit camp, all the way through? Okay, so through or under the bandit camp? They would go under the bandit camp, through, in the sewers, right? Mm -hmm. so all the way this way. All the way that way. No. Because what happens is... You see this, right? Yep. This is the sewer. And it comes down to here. 
that red line is where it splits. So that's a four way, right? Okay. So they can immediately go down to here, which curves into this town. And this is where we are, right? We're right over here, and the town's right over here. Yeah. And then they could have gone through the town. They could have gone through the town, yeah. Okay. Well, let's try and hit him up on the radio. Yeah, the radio has a flashlight on it. <laughs> Jake? I'll let you speak to him. Jake, can you hear me? Where are you and Kieran? Did you guys go through the sewers? What? Did you and Kieran go through the sewers? I thought we got to the school. I'm very fucking mad. Okay. Is Kieran, are you and Kieran okay? I just said that for my ass. Kieran's not okay. Is he alive? Bandits. Kieran's dead. Listen, I got this, um... <laughs> New guy. Hi. Mitchell. He, he's gonna help us. Basically, Thomas is a bandit now. We were, Because, Thomas, we figured out that Thomas is a bandit. He's been working with the bandits ever since he got here. Well, no, not ever since he got here, ever since he left. Yeah, ever since Thomas left us to go to the other camp, he's actually been working with the bandits. He offered up your food, supplies, and everything as coverage for him. That bandit him. who came in and took all of our stuff, that was actually Thomas coming, taking our stuff, and leaving. Okay. How long to get? How long to get back here? Wait, more precisely, where are you? What's yeah. the house number? Where am I? Yeah. About twenty feet from the school. Um, sewer. So are you in the school? No. Leave, leave, leave now. Come, come back. What? Come back right now. Forget about the car engine about the school and just come back. We know where we can get a good car engine. We know where we can get a better one than what you guys were getting. Just forget about it. We can get a better car engine. Mitchell knows a house that we can get a car engine in. So just leave. Come back. What? Come back and leave. What? We didn't know that took it over school. Oh. Yeah, but... Can you, can you leave? Can you just get out and come back? Can you, can you get back in here in five days? Can you get back here in five days? Okay. Okay, how about we do something where we meet you up halfway? Uh, I'll be a sniper, because I was pretty good with snipers. We're not taking you to the camp yet, we're going to the engine first. Yeah, I know, but we got to meet him halfway. Okay, so we'll meet you halfway. Mitchell will be like a sniper area, I'll come. Yeah, we'll camp out at one of the houses near there, on the roof. How about like, how about house, uh, 243, halfway to the high school? Do you know where that is? What? Where do you know where house 243 is? Halfway back home. Yeah. Can you meet us there? Can you meet us there? Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll be there. I'll be a sniper on the roof, so you don't have to worry about anyone following you. Uh, we'll meet you there. Uh, Talk to you later. Sure. Talk to you later. That's our fun, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that was